by law, I'm supposed to be protected by the Sixth Amendment and the Fourteenth Amendment for due process as well as equal protection. I have no reason to um, lie about my whereabouts, my time frame, that's why I keep all my receipts, um, as well as the individual person who claimed that I did something to them. These are only allegations. Deposition is supposed to be taken, sworn testimony is signed, and if, if these actions have occurred, then there's a process for it. Now, if I have no reason to do it, I'm ill, um, I can't, I'm trying to keep my health as healthy as possible, but with all this calculations and trying to conspiracy against my rights and we we don't want you here we want to keep you as a bum I was never a bum my identity I was not a bum my credential is not a bum that's why they're trying to switch it they're trying to keep me as a as a bum in order to say that I I have to be criminalized so, so, so this is what they call the bad man theory Look at the Black Law Dictionary, and you will understand what the bad man theory is. So they wanted to prosecute me to, to, to stretch the measurement of the law when they have not had these people take the proper examination. They can find in the areas, fingerprints, so forth and so on. They can do all that. They just can't sit there and just say people did something for no reason, and just so they can... It's about the secret national ID, and they want to keep it that way. So I have, I mean, these, they don't really know the process of the law, and they don't realize the perjury they commit during the sworn dep deposition and uh, sworn petition. They sign, and then once they're caught in the lie and have these children lie, they can't believe they had their children say these perverted things in order to steal uh, the sick lady identity. This is unbelievable.